All right, let's uh, get started. Um, I'm going to start back up from multiple axis in a single figure. So we, <coughs> we discussed some of this last time, but, uh, but we'll start back up from here. Okay. So the first thing to do is to run all cells above. Okay. Open and go to this cell, then run all the cells above it. So we are at the same place as we left off from last time. Okay. Okay. So uh, we're going to now create more than one chart or one plot within a figure. Remember, figure is the canvas, and upon the canvas, we plot charts. So far, we've been doing just one plot in each canvas. So we did this. So we did figure, figure size, and then axis AX1, add a subplot, then we plotted within that object of AX1. Okay. Now we can use the subplots. Okay, this is not add subplot. So earlier than we had on, in the figure, we used figure add subplots. Right? Now this add subplot. Okay, so one plot at a time. Now here we're using plot, PLT, Subplots, how many subplots we want. Okay. So this one is how many rows of the first number represents how many rows of plots we want. And the column is how many columns of subplot we want. So two comma three will give you six subplots. Okay. Uh, two in each row. First row will have two subplots, second row will have two subplots, third row will have two subplots, so like that. And then we can, we can well, here it will be two and three, sorry. So two rows, and each row has three subplots, a total is six. And then we can put any chart we want in each one of these um, axis, because the, each object here is an axis object, A-X-E-S. Okay. And we can name them. The default name is A-X-0, A-X-1, A-X-2, and so on. Okay. <clears throat> so if you click, uh, if you type A-X, then you see that there are six subplots. Now we can use subplots adjust method to put space um, between the chart objects. Okay, so right now you see that some of the numbers are running into the previous chart and so on. So we can add, okay, after creating the subplots, we can say subplots adjust and then insert white space and horizontal uh, white space, the width space and height space. Okay. Now we can also increase the size with the PLT subplots. Okay, so after specifying how many rows and how many columns or subplots we want, then we can use the fig size parameter. Okay, and fig size is the tuple. It gives you the width and the, um, the height and the width. Okay, well, this is the height and that's the width, I think. <coughs> 
So fig size sets the size of the figure with, within which the axis will be rendered. So there it is an example. Okay. And your turn here, we, we did this last time where we wanted to create three rows and two columns. Then we did this. Okay. Now plots in a single column then. Okay. So then you can access each access element with a square bracket. So AX is the name of the access object, which is what we have provided. So it can be anything. This can be any AX or or simply X, so user-defined name. So all the six, well here three times one is three objects. Three objects are created and um, put into the AX object. So AX square bracket zero will be the first one. AX square bracket one is the second one. AX square bracket two will be the third one. Okay, and then here I have bar charts, and then I have set titles, and Y label, and X label, and so on. And then I have the subplots adjust function, and I provided some height space, and then plt.show will give you the, well, if you don't use plt.show, you'll still be able to see the chart, but you'll also see some additional information at the top, which we really don't need. So to suppress that, you can use plt.show, in which case you will see only the plot. Okay? Now, multiple rows, multiple plots in rows and columns. Then, so here we, we have two by two. So when you have multiple objects, two by two, then your AX object has two indexes. Okay, zero, the first index is the row index, the second one is the column index. So here we have two by two, so you'll have zero, 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 one, the first row, right? Uh, and then one, zero, uh, and then one, one. Okay, so when you when you do that okay so it create so this one creates okay this function creates a 2 by 2 set of axes so in the figure you get created four objects okay so all four of them will appear in the figure and we are only using three of them so the fourth one is just simply uh, a blank figure you know, sitting there. So we are accessing AX00 is gold, then AX10 is silver, okay, row one, column zero, and then zero one is bronze. So zero row, column one is bronze. And then one one we are not using. We have only gold, silver, and bronze. Okay, there is no fourth one, so the fourth one is kind of blank. And that's not really nice, isn't it? Okay, you, you just have an empty thing sitting there in the figure. So if you want to avoid this, then you don't create all the access objects right here. You, you only create the figure, and then you add the objects you want one by one. Okay, So that's what we have here, add subplot. That's the other figure. So for you see here, you're only using plot figure and then a, a size. Okay, so that, that's good. All right. So that creates only the figure, the 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 canvas. Okay, it's not creating any of the plot plotting objects, a axis. Okay. So then you can use fig dot add underscore subplot. So here you have uh, three numbers. Okay. Then add just the needed subplots using add subplots. So M is the number of rows of plots. Okay. N is number of columns of subplots you want. And then I is the index 
number of subplots. And you know, to, to make, to keep us in our toes, now, this one starts with one and not zero. So, so we have two by two. Okay, so that part is common. Okay. And then you have one, two, three. So fourth one is not added. So it's, two, it's going to be a two by two kind of frame. Okay, and there are four spots possible. And you're only using three of them. So if you want, you could add a non. These are user-defined names, AX1, AX2, AX3. You can have AX4 if you want it, and if there was a plot that you could um, have. Okay. Then once that is done, then you set the parameters for each of the uh, access objects separately, and then you see that the fourth one is not, the, the, the blank object is not there because we did not add a fourth one. We added only three. Okay. Once again, the add subplot command, okay, so it has three numbers. Okay. They all will have the same M and N, number of rows and number of columns. And then the um, object numbers. Uh, starting from one. So, so we have three different ways of doing all this, right? So we have um, plot, and if you want only one, we have you add figure subplot, and that would be it. Or we can use um, plot dot subplots, okay, there is a plural there, so you add um, a definitive number of access objects all at once, or you can add subplots one by one. You create uh, the figure object, and then add subplots one by one, okay, by giving the row number, column number, and the uh, plot number. 